Economic specialists are touting the expansion of two Brainerd businesses as signs of economic improvement. On Monday, the Brainerd City Council approved the proposals from these businesses to expand and relocate. Hannah Tran has more on the, process, the progress for the community and these two companies. Two businesses are expanding in Brainerd. Both are manufacturing jobs and both are relocating to bigger facilities. They're l and Steel and Stern Assembly. Just two exciting projects within the Brainerd area. We've seen uh, some very encouraging signs, especially in manufacturing. These encouraging signs Gunstud refers to involves the economy of the Brainerd Lakes area. He sees it on the brink of a transition for the better. Uh, these are two examples of that that the, the growth is starting to come back and we're really happy about that. Both businesses are adding employees after relocation. LMN Steel is moving into a facility that has been quiet for the past few years. That facility unfortunately closed uh, in uh, I think around 08 or 09 because of the financial crunch that we had at that point. Both businesses will be using facilities here in Brainerd Industrial Park, one of which has not been used in a while. Now they have a, a warehouse that was vacant that is not going to be used again. These businesses have reasons for their move. L&M Steel sold their current building to Crow Wing Recycling. Stern Assembling just needs a bigger place for bigger equipment. It's nice to see the things that are happening right now, the uh, growth opportunities that, uh, that abound, and, and we're just happy to be a part of that growth. Both companies are adding 8 to 10 additional jobs. For Gunstead and these businessmen, it's enough of a sign signifying economic progress. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. Both companies requested federal Minnesota investment fund revolving loans. The city council unanimously approved both proposals. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.